Sleep apnea. In Australia, about 10% of the population are estimated to have sleep apnea. So what's sleep apnea? Well, sleep apnea is a condition where when you're sleeping at night time, your tongue and throat collapse against each other and you don't actually have a normal breathing pattern. Now you might be surprised to know that when people have sleep apnea, sometimes they can stop breathing five times an hour, 10 times an hour, 50 times an hour. And each time they stop breathing, the blood pressure rises, their heart works harder, and the probability of having a heart attack or a stroke increases dramatically. You might be interested to also know that if you smoked, uh, you are twice as likely to have a stroke than a person who doesn't smoke. But you're four times more likely to have a stroke if you have sleep apnea not treated than those patients that don't have sleep apnea. So, you know, when we talk about treatments, what are they? Well, treatments can, can usually involve a, a device that people wear at night we call a dental splint, which holds the lower jaw forward and keeps their airway open. There is also other treatments such as surgery and a pump device where patients wear a mask, whether it be over their face or just on their nose, to keep their airway open. So how do you know if you have sleep apnea? Well, sometimes it's a simple matter of knowing yourself when you wake in the morning, do you feel unrefreshed? Do you find that during the daytime you feel weary? A very typical time for tiredness is usually between 2 and 3 p.m. Some patients will often have a catnap in the afternoon. We might like to call them a siesta. But the reality is it's not actually normal for most people to have a catnap during the day. Also consider the fact that there's a passenger in a car. Do you often fall asleep? Do you go to the cinema watching a movie and you struggle to keep awake? These can be symptoms of sleep apnea. And my advice is you should have a chat to your GP medical practitioner or have a chat to your dentist. My specialty in oral medicine is involved in working with sleep specialists and your general medical practitioner or dentist and we make devices to help patients resolve snoring and sleep apnea.